Hi, this is your boy Mike. This is Trav, and this is LCCM. Uh, we got a lot of stuff for you today, everything from RTC to prom to Richardson, Duncan, and Howard in the middle of the lip sync battle. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, see you, man. Welcome to LCCN. I'm Taylor and this is Maddie. There has been many exciting events happening within our school recently, including the choir going to state and the band making distinguishes at the KMEA Festival. Congratulations, band and choir. Logan County is proud of you. Next, we have a public service announcement for Megan. Pardon this interruption for an important public service announcement. This month is Financial Literacy Month. And according to Fox News, 83% of teens don't know how to manage their money. So, we are bringing you the most important information that you need to know about your finances. Take charge of your life. The first step to make anything happen is to set goals. Make sure it's for your own well-being. And write, write it, it down. down. Second, manage your money. Create a fun spending plan to help keep track of your money. Make a budget. Don't spend more than you have. And write, write it, it down. down. Saving your money. Save your money at an early age. Find a great bank that has good options that are great for you. If you put your money in a savings account, you can gain interest and become a millionaire. And be, be smart with your money. Write it down. To raise money for the Ronald McDonald Foundation, RJROTC is hosting a 5K color run on May 7th. Here is Austin with more on how JROTC is being actively involved in our community. Lieutenant Colonel Chilbert, I understand that you're the new director of ROTC. Yes. All right. And with your new position with ROTC, can you tell me what are some of the ways that ROTC impacts the community? See, JROTC impacts the community in several different ways. One, it, it, it gets the student body or the JRTC cadets intermingled in between the, with the community and they learn and develop with the community leaders out, out, out there so we have a better understanding of what to look for after graduation. It also gives the cadets a better understanding of um, community relations and uh, service learning projects and giving back to the community. And um, on a last note, are there any things you'd like to tell us about the new color run that's coming up in May? The color run, the, the 5K color run coming up on May 7th at uh, 9.30 is, is part of the student's service learning project. And what, what happens is the, the cadets plan a event that they want to do and organize and run to give back to the community. So they chose the Ronald McDonald House Foundation. So. It's uh, $10 for the run, and you get a t-shirt for high school students and below. And then out, if you're out of high school, it's $25 and above. But you get a t-shirt and a goodie bag. But all that money, all proceeds go to the Ronald McDonald Foundation. And we're trying to raise $2,500 for this good cause. And it, it basically to ensure that parents and family members can stay together while their young children are healing or going through any medical treatment. And that's what JROTC is about, is trying to give back to the community and ensure families are, are staying together. This year's theme for prom is the Great Gatsby and is going to be held in our very own school. Tickets are still on sale, but not for long. All sales will end the 27th of April. Speaking of prom, need some new moves for the dance floor? Let's check out the manual with some of his dance moves. Hey, we're going to show you how to lead and dab. All right, it's pretty simple. All you start out, go ahead and dab, okay? He dabs and then pull up on the block. Cause the day I get the whip. Alright, and you know my top drop. My car and, and I had to hit one. So it's basically them steps right there. This month is 
Child Abuse Awareness Month. And in honor of that, Miss Toon and her child development class attended an aware awareness walk hosted by the Barron River Child Services for the ninth year. Next up, sports. Let's go to Emmanuel and Ricky with the info. <laughs> Our athletes have had success this spring. Our baseball team is 12-4 and has had several upcoming games, including the district tournament in May. This is Zoe from Logan County School News Sports. I'm here with Jackson Campbell, captain of the baseball team. So how's the season going so far? It's going good. We're 14-4. and four. We've had a lot of big wins recently. Uh, we had a big win against Franklin, which is awesome because it's our third win there in 10 years. So it's going really well. That's good. What are some goals that y'all had before the season started? Uh, as a team, we set a goal to win 27 games, which is the school record, so I think we have a good shot at completing that goal. Despite only having three meets so far, the track team has had significant success. We have many runners and throwers that are ranked first and second in the region and have high chances of going to state. Our softball team has done very well this season, and they are in eight. And that's your Logan County School. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys. Don't forget to come out and support our teams in their upcoming games and events. This is your opportunity to upload photos for the senior video. We will accept two to three photos per student. Photos should be limited to grades 9 through 12 and pictures must be uploaded by May 9th. No late photos will be accepted. The senior video will be shown at the senior breakfast and at graduation. DVDs will be available for purchase at the senior breakfast and graduation for $7. Now what we've all been waiting for, the teacher lip sync battle. Welcome to LCCN lip sync battles. We've got Miss Jama, country girl, up in here with Sweet Home Alabama. Let's go. To vote for your top two favorite contestants to battle it out, go to LCCN Cougar News Twitter page at LC Cougar News and cast your vote. Defenestrate, what does it mean? Defenestrate? Yes. <sighs> Defenestrate? I'm baffled. I mean, you definitely want to demonstrate something. I'm, I'm assuming something with the definition. To defend <laughs> straight people. A word? Um, something off of a Spider-Man movie. Uh, defenestrating, yes, sh yeah. Uh, it's when you're constipated and you're not anymore. It's uh, from the Latin which means uh, to poop again. I don't know. To finish straight, hey, that sounds like some disease my uncle had. Man, they be picking on him too, be like, because he don't know how to read or write. They be like, man, you to finish straight. What does that mean? So that be your final answer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out on that one. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. That means to throw someone out of a window. Oh, dude, listen to this. So, Alright, so why'd the cookie go to the hospital? I don't know why. He was feeling crummy. <laughs> <laughs> crummy. Let me see that, dude. Oh, man. I like George. Oh, look at this one. A new type of broom came out. It's been sweeping the nation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dude, we gotta tell people about these. You think so? Let's yes. do it. Let's go. Let's go. Master Beetle, and it was I who stole your vending machine. Mm. 
Why would you steal our vending machine? Yeah, I was gonna steal the one from Bowling Green High School. You know, the kids up that way. They have the non-diet order, but Beastman is watching his calories! Dude, now we're gonna die of dehydration. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! So radical. But we never got the soda, dude. The power! It's meh-tastic! Oh, delicious, meh! Snake Mountain Soda, it's meh-tastic! Thanks for watching, see you next time on LCCN.